Hey guys, so today's video is a makeup tutorial. I have done a soft matte smoky eye. Um, it's very, very easy, but I wanted to do this video to kind of show you guys how easy it really is to get like a smoky eye effect without looking like you've been punched in the eye, basically. So I didn't use any blacks, and as you can see, I didn't use any winged liner or anything like that. It is very simple, but still, I think it looks really elegant and really pretty. So yeah, if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off with my LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. This was the first time I used this primer. I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. I think I'm going to have to trial it out a few more times to like fully know my thoughts on it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it was a silicon based primer. So as standard as a silicon based primer can be, I guess. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color beige. This was also the first time I used this foundation. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was not a fan of it at all. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just not using it correctly. I've seen videos of other people using it where they apply like a face oil as well to kind of, I don't know, I guess blend it out a little bit better. I did find it was very dry on my skin, so an oil probably would have helped. Um, and I probably wouldn't use a beauty blender next time. So yeah, <laughs> I was not a fan of this foundation at all, but I'm going to give it another shot because I have seen good reviews about it. Then just taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Neutral Fair or Fair Neutral, I think it's called. And I'm just using that to highlight and conceal my under eye area. Sometimes I feel like this has really good coverage and then other times I don't. This day in particular, I did not feel like the coverage was fantastic. So I think you guys, I think you guys, I just had an American accent. What the hell? I think you guys will see in a sec, I pop some Fit Me concealer over the top just for a little bit of coverage where it's most dark under my eyes. And I'm also using that concealer to highlight the center of my face. So my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and my Cupid's bow. And then just using my damp beauty blender to blend all of that in. While I'm blending away, I wanted to see what you guys thought about my new background. My beauty room in our new house still isn't set up properly, so I'm having to work with what I've got, but I actually kind of like how this looks. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of it as well. Now I'm taking my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Um, and I'm using this to contour. This was the worst idea possible on top of that foundation. It just grabbed on top of the foundation and did not blend out properly at all. I think I've edited it out of this video, but it took me so long to blend this in properly. Like it just was not working. And as I was blending it with the brush, my foundation was just wearing away on my cheeks. Like it was just disappearing. So yeah, probably not the best combination, but like I said, it was the first time I'd use this foundation. So I was experimenting. Um, but yeah, it was this bit with the brush that the foundation was just disappearing underneath. It was not great, but I did manage to recover it, thank God. Now I'm just taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and as I always do, I'm going to use that to bake my under eye area. Um, I've done this in a few videos now, so if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know I love this technique and I love doing it with this particular product. It's so affordable as well, so I highly recommend it. While I am baking away, I'm going to do my brows and I'm using the Pony Cosmetics Mainstain Brow Cream. This stuff is insane. I love it, but it's so hard to get off. It is supposed to be a waterproof product, so like kudos to that because it definitely is waterproof, but holy Jesus, it's hard to get off. I really like how it looks though. And this color suits my blonde hair much better because I was previously brunette, a lot of my brow products are too dark for me at the moment, so this one is fab. Now just wiping away the excess powder from my Bakage and moving on to my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC20. I'm going to use that this bleh, 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 use that to set the rest of my foundation in place. 
Now taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm using the banana shade to just give my under eye area a bit more highlight. Um, I really like how this powder looks over the top of that Rimmel translucent powder. Obviously that Rimmel one is translucent so adding the banana powder on top just adds a bit more coverage as well. Now just contouring with those two shades from the Kat Von D shade and light palette as well. And I'm popping a little bit of that on my forehead just to contour that area slightly as well because you know, when you've got a big forehead, you'll do anything to make it look a bit smaller. Now just rubbing off the gross foundation and concealer lips and then moving on to the, oh, my nose contour. I totally thought it was something different then, but it's not. I'm just contouring with the same um, shades that I used before and then I blend it out with what's left of the banana powder on my setting brush just so that it's nice and seamless. Now taking my Betty Luminizer by The Balm, this is a bronzer and I'm just using that to bronze up my cheeks a little bit more. This has just got like a slight shimmer in it so I really like how it makes my cheeks look, especially when it hits the light. Now taking this blush from the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette, I can't remember the exact name but I'll list it down below. These blushes are super, super pigmented so you've got to use a light hand but they're amazing. And then I'm going in with this MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and drowning my face in it. This is my favorite highlighter, by far my favorite. I've also got Champagne Pop, but I still think Soft and Gentle is my all time favorite. Now I'm just taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder again, and I'm using that to bake underneath my contour. This just cleans it up and keeps it nice and tidy and sharpens it up a little bit more because sometimes I feel like as I'm blending, I kind of lose that definition in the contour. Um, I don't leave it on for long either. I literally just pop it on and then take it straight off pretty much. Now onto the eyes, I'm taking Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and I'm using that in my crease like I always do. And I'm blending that in with my Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. This is like my favorite, favorite brush from Sigma. It just makes blending so, so easy. Like it's literally foolproof. Now taking Beaches and Cream on my Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm just focusing that into the crease a bit more. Um, this is just adding like a bit of a gradient smoky feel to the eye look, I guess. Then taking creme brulee and I'm blending this all over my eyelid and then up into the crease a little bit as well. This is such an easy eye look guys, like I feel like you don't need to have much experience to be able to pull this off. Now I'm taking Frappe by Makeup Geek and I'm using that on the same E25 brush and just blending that into the outer corner just to add a bit more definition to the eye and a bit of dimension. Um, yeah, basically really easy. Like I'm just working with light brown colors and then working my way up to the darker colors. I'm also taking a little bit of that towards my lower lash line just to smoke out the lower lash line as well. And now I am taking Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek and blending that in with my Sigma Tapered Blending E45 brush just into the outer corner again just to deepen that up a little bit more and then blending to my lower lash line as well. Last but not least, I'm taking the color Mocha on a pencil brush and just placing this a little bit more precisely on the outer corner. I'm not really blending this into the crease much like I was with the last two colors, but this again is just adding a bit more dimension and smoking it out on the lower lash line as well. Now taking White Lies by Makeup Geek, I'm just using that to highlight the inner corner and this just breaks up the brown a little bit and makes it look a little bit more wearable. Now it is time for mascara and I'm using my cult favorite, the White Knight Mascara from Pony Cosmetics and just coating my top and bottom lashes with this. And for falsies today, I'm using these Vegas Nay Easy Elegance lashes. They are beautiful. The Vegas Lay lashes in general are just gorgeous, but these ones I really like for a more natural look. They're not as heavy, they're a bit more sparse, um, but yeah, they're really, really pretty. Now for eyeliner, I'm taking this Zoeva Brown Eyeliner and just lining my upper waterline just to blend in the falsies a little bit better because I'm not going to be doing eyeliner on the top today. And then taking another Zoeva Eyeliner in a nude color and I'm placing this in my lower waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit more. This just helps to break up that brown again and make your eyes look a lot more open and awake. 
Now it is time for lips and I'm so excited because I finally got the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. I'm going to take number 11 and basically put this on my lips. This lip palette is incredible. I'm going to do a review video and like a demo video on this palette specifically. So keep an eye out for that on my channel. I'll link it down below once it's up, but oh my God, guys, I am in love. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed following me along on that tutorial. As I said in the intro, it is a very simple look, very easy to do, but I feel like the eyeshadow is kind of great for everyday use. Like if you worked in a professional office kind of situation where you did wear makeup on a daily basis, you could easily do this um, quickly in the mornings, like as you're getting ready. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on my notifications as well. If you guys like seeing when I upload my videos and make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and that will send you a notification every time I upload. I am starting to upload more consistently now so that's really exciting. So yeah, if you would like to hit the bell um, and subscribe if you haven't already because why not? Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.